Good morning, guys. This is Jessica from Crescent and Stampin.blogspot.com. And today I wanted to actually do a video from one of my viewers, uh, Gigi Act. Let's see, Gigi Act 2. Um, this video is for you because you had requested that I send you, um, or requested that I do a video or someone do a video for you because it looks like you're new to having a cameo and you would like to know how to do some things. So I wanted to show you um, <clears throat> what I do with my Cutting Cafe files um, from start to finish. How I import, because I'm not sure if you know how to import your videos, um, or your files rather, not your videos. If you know how to import them, if you have the designer edition software where you can import uh, other files and keep them saved into your own designs, which is where I have mine right here. Um, I figured I would show you how I do that. So let me show you how I do it. Uh, what I do first is I go to File, which is at the top. Um, unfortunately, you may not be able to see that in my screen, but I go to File. I go to Import to my library, <clears throat> and then I'm going to tell it where I want it to look. Now, I have my Cutting Cafe. Um, I know I'm working with my SVG Christmas card set. Um, and if I go to all files, it's automatically going to come up to Silhouette Studio. And as you can see, there's nothing saved there just yet. But if I go to all files, there's all the files that come up under the cutting cafe that I had. And right now I'm importing my tree. So I wanted to show you that all I do is change it from Silhouette Studio, which is where it's at, to all files. I find the file that I want to pull in and I hit OK. And then I title mine exactly what they're titled. So this is called the SVG Christmas card set. And I know that it's the tree that I want to pull out. I also put in here where it says artists. And I'm not sure. You should be able to see this on your screen. Um, but I put the artist in. And then that way when I'm looking for something, as long as I know my artist, I can pull it in. And my screen flashes and it pulls it in. And right there is what I just took in. So... The next thing that you had asked was, um, how do I arrange my card once I pull it in? How do I arrange it on my mat? What do I do? So I'm going to show you how you can ungroup items, move them around, change them to a different page. And here is what I do. So let's work with um, something that has a few things. Okay, let's do the Christmas card set, the bulb. So if I double click that, it comes on into my mat. And as you can see, it does fit on there right now. Um, you might think, oh, well, it's awfully close to the bottom, but that's really not a problem. Um, right here you have um, the shape the shape of the card itself, and then you have all your layers. Now, for me, I try to make cutting as easy as possible for myself so I don't have to go back in and go in and do 100 different cuts and reload the mat 100 times. I like to do it, you know, at most twice and be done with it. So um, I make sure that my grid is on. Um, sometimes it'll show up your grid will look like that. I myself like to have my grid on, so I go up to the top here, and I just say show grid, um, and then I know what I'm working with. For me, it's easier. Um, and then what I'm going to do to be able to move all this around, because as of right now, if I move, I move the whole thing. Well, I only want to be able to move just my card here, and then I can work with all my layers. So if you click it with your, with your mouse that you know you're highlighted in there, and then you're going to right click, and all you do is hit ungroup. Now, sometimes I've noticed that I've had to do it twice. Um, if I hit on group again, you see how there's little gray lines around? We know that we're all on group now, and I can move each individual piece. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to actually just move these items off so I can work with just my card. Now, I did notice that this and this is going to be away from my card. So if I were to just go in here to try and move this, look what happens. Oh no, I want these to stay with it. So all I'm going to do right now is just hit my back button to get it to move back to the way it was. And what we have to do is go back in and group it all. So all you have to do is start drawing. If you hold your left mouse button down and just start drawing around all of it. And you can right click and hit group. And it makes everything go back together again, so that way you can move everything all together. So, now I have the shape of my card. And if I wanted to maybe turn it around so it's working at the top, so, you know, you know that you can use up to six inches or whatnot. I mean, that's kind of how I base it. I know that half my mat 
it's roughly six inches. I can tell as of right now that it is, what's that, four inches. So I'm good. I have room to work with it. And I'm just going to place it as best I can on my mat. <clears throat> and I know that I'm going to make this a different color. I'll probably do that a solid color. And then I'm going to come back over here in my layers and I'm just going to arrange them into different corners. I like to make my make this be like an imaginary um, four little boxes, if you will. But I'm going to just do a box at the top. I know I'm going to make that you know six inches um, in length by 12 inches wide. And then I just move these items around to my liking. So here's the way I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do a new a new um a new page and I'm going to group all these together and then I'm going to copy it and go back to my other page and paste them on and then once I get them back in here I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to, I'm going to ungroup them all and then I can move them to how I want them so you see how I just did that I'm going to make them each a different color and I'll do 40 for paper. So that's pretty much the extent of how I move around my mat, how I determine where I'm going to put um, the items. And it's that simple. And then what I usually do is I come back in and I delete off so I know that I already worked with it. I don't re, you know, make multiples of different cuts. And then I come in and save it. Now, how I typically do it is I'll go to File, I'll go to Save As, and then I'm going to save it as the SVG Christmas card trio bulb. and then I'm going to put a one next to it because I know that there is multiple um, saved files associated with this so it changed at the bottom of my screen I'm not sure if you can see that my title changed but I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to call it the SVG Christmas card trio bulb and I'm just going to come in and change it to a two and then I hit OK, and I know that I have, once I see the one, I know there's multiple files associated with it, so then I'll just look for that. Um, very easy. You can do this. Obviously, you don't have to do just the Cutting Cafe ones this way, but that's the way you do it. Now, the next thing that you'll have to do, if you were to go in right now to try and cut it, it would tell you that, oh, well, for starters, I would need to put my... Cut, put this in, and if I were to go and hit the cut button, it would tell me that there's no cut lines. So we have to create our cut lines. Now what I do is, is I go in, you're going to go up to the little scissors, that's our establish our cut line section, and you can hit just the cut. If you do, I've noticed with the files for the Cutting Cafe, if I hit cut edge, you see how it becomes super dark? That usually cuts it multiple times. I don't want multiple cuts. I want one single cut with my silhouette. I'm not sure why it does that, but if you just go to the cut where it looks like it's not cut in certain things, it really is, and you can tell that it's all being cut by it because it's highlighted in the red. And all you're going to do is go through and hit that for each item. And okay. Sometimes um, this happens, and I'm not sure why it doesn't on my machine. There we go. Sometimes I have to go in and out. I don't know why it does that to me. But now we have all our cut lines established. And then all I do is I go back in and I just make sure I save each item. I save each time. And that's how you do it. I mean, it's very simple. Um, and then you would just go to your button and hit cut and you're all ready to go. So thank you so much. Um, I hope this worked for you. I hope you were able to get it to, um, if you're able to go forward and do some happy crafting and figure out how you, um, how you can import the files and do multiple cuts, uh, and move things around to your liking instead of cutting a bunch of different things. So thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.